Egypt is due to choose its next president, and this man, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, will be hoping to improve on the 97% of the vote he got in the last election. And that might be fairly easy, as he has no strong opponents. The only other approved candidate is Musa Mustafa Musa, a pro-Sisi politician whose own al ghad party had previously announced that it supported Sisi. That makes Musa a safe rival for Sisi, unlike several other candidates who are pushed to the side. The biggest name was Ahmed Shafiq, a former prime minister and a former presidential candidate. Shafiq is pro-military. He's reported to have been detained at his hotel on his return to Egypt last year until he withdrew his candidacy. Two other pro-military figures, General Sami Annan and Colonel Ahmed Qanswa, put their names forward before being disqualified and then arrested. Qanswa has been sentenced to six years in prison and Annan is waiting for his trial. Seven years on from Egypt's resolution, there was only one major pro-revolutionary candidate. Khalid Ali, a lawyer, withdrew in late January saying the opportunity for hope in this presidential election has gone. And as for the Muslim Brotherhood, well, like its former member and ex-Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi, the leadership is in jail or exile and banned from taking part.